So basically this is just standard Formula 1 six point um, seat belts, uh, anchors at the shoulder straps here, uh, at the waist and, and your crotch straps down at the bottom. The only ones on here that are adjustable are the shoulder straps, the other ones are fixed size for various sizes for the drivers. Um, they've got your quick release buckle, which is to allow, allow the driver to get out really fast. Driver fit wise, when we have driver fit, they've got the shoulder straps here which you've got to several positions up and under the top and the same with the, uh, the lap straps at the bottom. We've got brackets down here, which are adjustable. Basically, that's a loop which is fixed. It's all Kevlar weave and stuff, so it's really strong, lightweight as well. Uh, and then we bolt them in on the bracket, so they're fixed. So they're, non they're non adjustable in the car, but they're adjustable here once the driver's in, just to strap them tight back into the seat. So the, uh, all the straps are sewn, and then these brackets are bolted, and the, the, the seat belts are fed on, and bolted into the car solidly. So that's the crotch straps lap straps and the shoulder straps. These are these are fixed in one position, you can't change these, but the lap straps uh, have got several positions on each side. And these shoulder straps, you've got four positions on each side as well, depending on the driver and the seat height and the seat fit. Basically, they're made out of, uh, I believe, titanium. We have different positions and heights depending on circuits. So like Monaco, they might want to slightly raise seat positions, so sometimes they will want the shoulder straps raising up for that as well. So as the seat goes up, the driver goes up, the shoulder straps will have to go up as well. And the same with the lap straps, as the seat goes up, they're going to want to change lengths as well, because he's further away from the ground. Uh, they do have an expiry date, it's different with every manufacturer, but they'll have an FIA approved uh, homologation label on them with an expiry date, and that's part of the scrutiny, is that they'll get checked to make sure they're still in date. And they'll also get inspected for wear and, and tear and damage, the, the most important thing for when you're checking the belts is where they don't fret on the seat or the lap or the strap because obviously it's just like the car seat belts if they fret they're weak and if they're weak they break so obviously the key thing with these uh, seat belts is that there's a lot of levels of security and safety about them the fact that just from the life in and the, the rigorous testing and the strengths of the belts that go through it to um, not being able to do them up yourself to being able to undo them yourself as a driver easily to get out but not accidentally so that they come and undone during the race and also they're all fixed in manually by us so they don't come unloose and they don't come undone on the track basically. So all throughout the point from manufacture to actually going around on track there's a lot of levels of security and safety uh, in there to make it good for racing.